I thought I'd do a quick video on, I'm going to add a new uh, drop to our Max, our Rapid Air Max line or whatever it's called. It's that blue, um, blue piping that they sell for shops. And I, I was going to bring air into the shop here, but I just haven't had time yet. And so I just need a drop that's outside that's close to the, close to the garage. So... What I've got is I've just got um, this extension is going to go through the wall. And uh, so I'll, I'll actually lay out what I've got here. I've got um, a T, and that's when I cut the line in the shop, in the garage, that's going to be for that. Um, I've got a fitting that comes off of the blue line and converts over to this pipe. That's going to come down the wall. I've got two types of hangers, so I'm going to try to find a stud, and I'll probably end up just using the single screw hanger instead of the two screw, because I won't have two studs. <clears throat> got a 90 to go off of that, so this is going to go like, it's going to go like this. And then, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, I'm move this crap out of the way. I've got a half inch NPT to quarter inch NPT, and then I've got one of those push-on fittings. Okay, you guys can see all that great. So, um, the first part of this is fairly straightforward. Uh, just getting them assembled and ready to go. And the reason I'm not actually in there doing it in the shop is because um, there's a car being worked on in there. And let's see if I go that way, it's going to unroll. So I go the other way, I think. Anyways, so I'll be in there in a little bit and be able to finish this up. Um, did I go the right way? Well, yes, I did. Imagine that. So <clears throat> I'll just get these fittings tight real quick. Let's see. tight <clears throat> and then we'll go to the stub next I don't know if you guys can see the little Harbor Freight vise that I got. Can you? Oh, yeah, you can. So, <clears throat> I'm just tightening these up for real, you know, real quick. I should use a... Um, pipe wrench, but... These will work just fine. There's my stub to go through to the outside. <clears throat> and then uh, I actually have to drill the wall out to put the 90 in because I really don't want to drill a big gigantic hole. So I'm going to stop the video now. I'll go and wrap this in real quick. Come on. You piece of dog shit. 
Um, you, <clears throat> near as I can remember, you wrap as if you were screwing a bolt on. So you wrap, I don't know if you'd call it with or against the threads. But basically I'm going, I'm putting this on down the threads as if it were being tightened. And that, that keeps it from unraveling, at least I hope. <clears throat> I think I can go ahead and put this max line on. So we'll do that real quick. So this is where it's going to go up the wall. I'm probably putting too much on, but I don't, I don't want it to leak. I got the fitting fed through the wall. Um, it's not perfect, but it is what it is. So I'm putting this fitting on here to st the strap. I've got this actually bored through the stud in this particular wall. And who knows how, how well it's going to work, but I think it'll work just fine. So I'm trying to get this other side started here. bad boy down and that ain't gonna go anywhere so now I gotta tighten the outside and then I'll show the uh, cutting of the line all right guys so this is the part about um, installing a T it's gonna go up here it's actually gonna go straight I'm gonna unbend this but I have a little bit of a concern about it being short, so we'll see how that goes. But I think I know about where I'm going to cut it, so I'm going to go ahead and do so. And when you buy the kit, you get this these scissors, these cutters, but I would imagine a nice sharp pipe cutter would work too. And then you're supposed to ream the tubing out with this little plastic reamer piece here. So I'm going to ream this out real quick. And do that action real fast. And then the way these go on, they've got a um, ferrule and a nut. So you've got this collar piece. Thank you, cameraman. So you got this threaded collar, and then you've got this um, ferrule that's sliced. And you just slip those over the tube, like so. And then you put your fitting on, slide your ferrules back, and snug it up. Now, I've got to uh, unbend this tube here. And it looks... Like I cut it a touch long. So, well, that's maybe not because I could get hooked up to this tube. So, I'll go ahead and I know that I'm going to need this length here because of this tube being short. In fact, I'm going to need to move this, this wall clamp. Um, so, I'll go ahead and get this tube on here. And... Try not to 
fall. So, um, I've got it. It's a pretty large crescent wrench size that it takes. And, uh, I'm going to get it more than snug, but for right now, I think I'm just going to snug it up. So I'll get it tighter than that, but for now, that's good enough to reposition it. And so I'm going to get this thing shaped so that it, this stuff's, ooh, fingers, this stuff is pretty stiff. So uh, it will take some, some working of the tubing to get it where you want it. And I hope I can straighten that out with the trimmer piece. Oh, okay. So there's that. Get this next run on here. And it's just stiff, stiff tuning. And I can see right now that it shoved the O-ring out, so I gotta pull that out and see what's going on there. square so one of the things you want to do is make sure you cut these as square as possible because that was on a bend it didn't cut square so make sure and recut that and then re-ream it all right we'll do this again sure that the o-rings don't get wadded up in there push the ferrule down and then get the collar in place and let's see here So these are just, they're really stiff tubes, so it's kind of a pain in the ass to get them tight. Um, and that's not totally tight, but it's getting close. And then we'll get this last tube cut and get it on here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I had it hooked. So I'm gonna cut this one just a touch long and just push it back a little bit through the clamps. So, we'll ream that out again. <coughs> and I've, I just routed these clamps where they're convenient. I'll show the run here in a second when I'm done making this connection. There's that. And I don't believe the ferrule is directional. I think it's omnidirectional, but I try to keep it orientated the same way it comes off the fitting. So I did look at it and I don't believe it to be directional fitting. And you'll want to kind of straighten the stuff in your hands ahead of time because man, it is stiff. I'm gonna actually pull that out of the clamp. Last, uh, last ferrule here, or not to tighten up. And 
and then like I said, I'll go back and make sure that these are tied. So I'm going to get this thing in place, make sure it's in the clamps, and then I'll do a final tightening here real quick. So just do one at a time here, make sure they're tight. That's tight. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and get it in the clips and then we'll get back to you guys here in a bit. Alright, here's the new run. It goes from the corner of my garage up and it routes through here. And then I'm going to turn and actually show it the other direction. It goes across the ceiling and then it's tied in over there where we just got done filming. That's the new TA I bought and uh, it stubs out outside for now. I plan on installing a second T somewhere in here and uh, actually running hard line at some point, but for right now, I just decided to do this drop. So I uh, hope this helps someone and talk to you guys later.